come from plants grown and harvested on our own certified organic farms. The 20 plant concentrates in Nutri-like Double X come from sources like tomato, blueberry, broccoli, pomegranate, and more. And they provide a wide range of health benefits, including a healthy heart, brain, eyes, skin, bones, and immune system. So what are you waiting for? Supplements from Nutrilite really do fill the ultimum you. Learn more today by contacting your local Amway independent business owner or go to Amway.com. Back here at Hair Arena entering our fourth quarter, 21-14 Erie Explosion. And the Sharks have third and ten from their own ten. Two incomplete passes to McGarity. And that gives Dayton two more downs. Erie looking to go 9-0 and have home field advantage throughout the entire playoffs. As we have the Dayton Babes on the field trying to pump these fans up. Some of the fans cheering on, others just waiting for some more football. The Sharks go scoreless for the second quarter in this game. They've only scored in the second quarter. So here we go, third down and 10 as the Babes make their way off the field. And the Sharks still talking it over. Fans starting to get into it in. I tell you, the uh, Dixie football team below us, they've been really pumped up in the second half. Of course, Dixie High School, located in New Lebanon, Ohio, off of uh, US 35 to the west of Dayton. Just about a couple winks away from Hare Arena. 15 minutes, we're on the clock, fourth quarter, 21 to 14 Erie. Third down and 10 from the 10 for Dayton. Tommy Jones looks around, throws it as far as he can. Mincy can't hold on, the defender knocks it down into the hands of Smith it goes and he's running it back, the 15 to 10, the five, and he bumps it, he lost his helmet, and he's smothered at the Dayton one. He was almost in for six, we have a penalty flag back at the Erie 13 yard line. Erie fans cheering that one up, but hold on a minute, there's a yellow flag. It was off the hands of a Erie defender and landed into Joaquin Smith's hands. He's from Lincoln University of Pennsylvania. But remember, there's still a penalty flag to be talked about. But I see the explosion offense getting back on there. Three refs talk it over, two stand by. See what the official call is. Hopefully Mike will work. It will still remain with the explosion. But there's a block in the back call upon the orange and black. So that pushes the ball all the way back. We're talking all the way back to their own eight yard line. So the Sharks turn it over. So it's first and 10 for the explosion. They lead by seven with 14.42 left to go in the fourth. So let's see what Smatanka can do. He's led his team to three touchdowns and three extra points thus far. Sends a man in motion in the near side. There's Hubbard. And there's a big throw to the right side. And it's incomplete. Respis knocks the right receiver down. I believe that's Andre London. That was tangled up. Respis looks like he's hurt. He's wiggling. He can't get up. And looks like Respris is hurt. Chris Respris down, lying down. He's wiggling his feet. And the Dayton Sharks trainer comes out in a flash. Respris is down. He's one of the important staples of this Dayton Sharks team. So we'll take a break on this injury timeout. We'll be back after this here on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. 
Filled a strong nutritional foundation with the Nutrilite Perfect Pack for your health exclusively from Amway. This trio of premier Nutrilite supplements can help you feel confident that your nutritional gaps are covered with the ease and convenience of daily AM and PM packs. Learn more today by contacting your local Amway independent business owner or go to Amway.com. Raspris is walking, walking a bit gingerly, but he is walking under his own power, and that is a great sign for the Dayton Sharks. Starting to hobble on him, running a bit, and he's going to have to sit on the bench trying to gain some air in those lungs. Nice job by Respis, knocking away from London's hands. So it's second down and 10, Erie from their own eight. Hoggart, not Hobbert, Hoggart is on the near side. The clock continues to roll, 14-11, and rolling left to go in the fourth. Here he sends a man in motion, and it's the tank again. He's stopped right around the nine-yard line. That's a pickup of about one. And actually, the rest are going to say no gang. It's in between the eight and the nine, so maybe a marginal gang of that, but it's still third down and ten for the explosion. Third and ten for the explosion. 13-39 and rolling left to go in the fourth. Erie 21, Dayton 14. Erie sends two wide receivers far side. Man in motion starts on the far side. There's going to be Hoggart. Swatanka has to stop. He was almost sacked. But there's a flag back at the Erie 9. Ref stopped the play. Number 53 of the refereeing crew. Points towards Erie, and it is a false start upon Erie, pushing him back five. And the ball will lie at the Erie four. Third down and 15 for the explosion. One of the Dixie players, um, made a weird noise by, I don't know what you do, but you take the skin out of your throat and just wiggle it and then you make a turkey call noise. I guess what it was. I found it funny. Explosion, third down and 15 from their own four. And the tank back in his own end zone, takes off. He's being swarmed down. He stopped back at the original line of scrimmage. Fourth down and 10. The mobile quarterback, Swetanka, rolls towards his right. He is met by a shark wall. One more down for the explosion. And the explosion send out their field goal kick. Field goal kicker and Rouser. Keep in mind in the CIFL you cannot punt. So he's going to go for it. Line all the way back is Mincy. He wants to return this ball. The Sharks haven't had a chance to return a ball all game. Here's the snap, the place, the kick. And it's a low boomer head to section 22 off a of fan. No return, it looks like a fan. The fan that got hit by the ball, got the ball pried underneath him. It's kind of cruel, he just got hit with the ball. And one of the guys stole it from him. But luckily he gets it back. So the ball spotted at the 15 yard line, first and 10, Sharks. Dayton has an ample chance of answering back here. Tommy Jones, last two plays by the Sharks have been turnovers. One was on a bounce off a defenseman into another Erie defenseman's hands. The Sharks need to control the ball, make error-free plays. They need to pounce it in, just like they've been doing all season. Two out of the five refs talking over, one ref talking to Coach Taylor, He's the head coach of the Dayton Sharks. Always a pleasure to talk to him pregame. Very lucky to be broadcasting Dayton Sharks football for you folks on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Been a great season thus far for the Dayton Sharks. Looking to 
start the momentum here. First and 10, Dayton from their own 15 yard line. Jones with a pair of wide receivers on the far side. Looks there, a quick throw, McGarity with a complete catch and he rolls to the 21 yard line for a gang of six, second down and four for the Sharks. Just four yards away from midfield, that's where they need to get for a fresh set of downs. Sponsored by Neutralite by Amway. We only have had one scoring play thus far in the second half. Ball lies on the 21 yard line. That's a gain of six for McGarity and company. A second down and four for the Sharks. Sharks down by seven with 11 18 left to go. That's a lot of football to be played, folks. Jones sends two right receivers on the far side. The man in motion heads to the near side there. There's Mincy. And it's a quick throw. And Brian makes the catch. First down for the Sharks. He sneezed, squeezed, if you will, at the Erie 21 yard line. That first down sponsored by Neutralite from Amway. We'd be confident that your nutritional gaps are covered. If you're interested in the double X multivitamin or Neutralite by Amway, contact your local independent Amway business owner or go to Amway.com. First down, Dayton from the Erie 22 yard line. Need to get to the 12 for some fresh downs. Jones sends Mincy in motion far side. Jones looks around, bobbles it, throws it to the middle, and Mincy held. We have a flag bouncing at the Erie 6. It looks like it might be defensive pass interference. And the Dixie football crew chanting, you can't do that. Always a staple at uh, sporting events. And yes, it is defensive pass interference on Ricardo Kemp who's been everywhere on the field for the explosion defense. But this time he's tacked with a foul. The ball rests on the Erie Six. This is the time for the Sharks to sink some teeth into some exploding football players. Jones sends two right receivers far side. Bryant will be in motion on the near side. Moss to the right of Jones. Here we go, first and goal. Jones looks. Throws, and it's over the head of Brian. Bounces quickly off that glass, incomplete. Second down and goal from the Erie Six. Jones, like Coach Taylor talked about on the pregame show, very accurate, a very smart, very veteran quarterback. Won a championship with a Saginaw Sting, was the MVP of said Sting on the championship team that did knock off the Dayton Silverbacks. So Jones back at it again. Second out and goal. Jones sends a man in motion. Far side ball bubbled and Jones has it, throws it into the hands again of Smith. And he is swarmed in the backfield. Touchbacks the call. Another turnover by the Dayton Sharks. You can tell the frustration boiling out. And that is a first and 10 for the explosion from their own five. We got 9.06 left to go. In the fourth quarter, the clock continues to roll. That should be Tommy Jones's third interception on the game. Very uncharacteristic of the Eaton, Ohio native that played college ball at Indiana and was on the practice squad of the Cincinnati Bengals. Smith. Waheem Smith with the interception in its first and ten. Erie and the runner Stokes is swarmed. Taken down at the Erie one yard line. Stokes not very happy with that. And the ball lies in between the one yard and two yard hash marks of the Erie explosion. 21 to 14 Erie is your score. 8.02 is the time left to go in regulation. The historic Hair Arena here is the name of the place. And the tank. Sends a man in motion near side, throws to him, and it's in and out of his hands. 
a wicked throw. It's incomplete, third down. And let's call it, let's call it 14 for the explosion. Second down, 13 actually. Uh, an update on the score, Port Huron leads to drill is 33-25. Patriots trying to avoid giving Eastern Kentucky their second win on the season. We have a final, Dayton Dutch Lions knock off the Pittsburgh Riverhounds, two to one in stoppage time. The tank rolls around the end zone, throws it, and it's an amazing catch at the Dayton 20. Andre London swirls down, holds it in. What a miraculous catch by the Erie wide receiver. London went to St. Joseph's. Which I'm trying to think which St. Joseph's is be. There's a St. Joseph's College in uh, Northwest Indiana. There's also the St. Joseph's Hawks of the Atlantic 10, but I don't think they even have football. So that's a completed catch from the Erie 2 to the Dayton 20 it goes. First and 10, Sharks make it the explosion on the Sharks 20. 6.16 left to go in the fourth. The cloud, crowd's getting a little bit wild. And there's Hogger, he's rolling the 15, the 10. Tangled up and knocked down at the, Erie, or the Dayton 6. But wait a minute, we got some flags flying in. And Michael Johnson said, no, you didn't just call that. And it's offensive holding upon the explosion. It'll still be first down for Erie, say the refs. And it's back in midfield. Two refs toss the flag around. State defense waits. Time is not on the side of the home team. Erie looks to go 9-0 on this season. They just have under six minutes to burn. Sharks need an answer. Explosion, just need to keep playing smart football. We got flags flying up. And they're in the backfield. It's another penalty on the explosion and knocks them back in their own territory. It's a false start. And it's first down and 20 now for the explosion. as a first and Montgomery County mile to go for the explosion. They're up by seven. They got 20 yards to go for a fresh set of downs. They're in field goal range, however. As Swintaker rolls around, he's gotta get rid of it, and it's almost in the hands of McCray. Just a few yards shy, incomplete, as the quarterback was rushed. Did a nice job getting rid of it. Looks like he's a little bit shaken up. I think he's gonna be okay. He's adjusting his orange belt as he gets a word with the coach. Now there's 4.50 left to go in the fourth. Erie leads 21 to 14. Fans doing all they can, staying loud in this contest. Been very impressed by the Dixie uh, football players below us. They've been very loud beginning into this game. Also been slamming the press row underneath our cameraman, John Ford. Second down and 20 yards to go. Andy Swentanga throws it in the center. Great catch. Back in Dayton territory by Michael Johnson. He stopped at the 16, no, make it the 17 yard line of Dayton. And the rest are going to put it closer to 17 between those two lines. Third down and seven to go. A short seven and a long six. Under four to play, 21 to 14 explosion. Explosion fans still standing up. They've been very loud, very passionate fans, making the trip from Erie, Pennsylvania, the northmost part of the state of Pennsylvania to Dayton, Ohio, close to Cleveland, and then it's about three and a half trip 
three and a half hours trip. Here's a third down and seven. And the quarterback throws, and it's down on the turf, incomplete. Johnson says he caught it, but the refs say it's off the turf. It doesn't count. Fourth down and seven for the explosion. We're coming in, three minutes, 10 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter, and the explosion hold on to the ball. One more down, and it looks like Swintenka will lead his crew. They need seven for some fresh downs. That would push the proverbial coffin nail that much closer. Breaking a eight game winning streak for the Sharks. Fourth down and seven. Swintinka rolls a man in motion in the near side. Two right receivers also on the near side. He runs for it, past the 15, and he's knocked down at the Dayton 11. He's knocked down at the Dayton 11. And that is not enough for a first down, and the Sharks recover the ball. 2.21 to tie up the game. Tommy Jones gets another crack at it. And we have a TV timeout, so hey, let's take a break with said TV. We'll be right back after this. You're listening to the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Come visit the Holiday Inn North, I-275, exit 46. We have 275 spacious rooms as well as luxurious suites, conference space for all, no matter what the size. The Holiday Inn North offers catering as well. Please visit our award-winning restaurant, Max and Irma's, and bring the kids for free cookies Wednesday. The Holiday Inn North of I-275, exit 46, just the place for you. For more information, please contact Sales Director Lamont Ford at 513 513- 830-3025 or visit our website at H-I-C-I-N-C-Y dot com. Welcome back to Ohio Sports Radio Network. The Sharks, they're down by seven. 221 left to go. Home field advantage on the line as well as a perfect record through week I believe it's week number 11 in the official season. Jones sends a man in motion to the far side. He looks towards his left, throws towards his right, down the middle, and it's a completed catch for Shearer. He's past the 20 of Erie and stuffed at the 17. That's a neutral light by Amway. First down for the Sharks. And Dayton looks to get something to cook in here. Shearer pumps his hands up. The fans start standing up. They're again pumped up. Under two to play. Jones sends a pair of right receivers on the line, both left and right. And Mincy will take the near side in motion. Jones throws it a quick to McGarity. McGarity, he's knocked down around the 12 yard line of Erie. That's a pickup of about six. It'll be second down and let's call it four. Ball lies on the 11 of Erie. The red zone territory has not been kind to the Sharks today as they've only punched it in twice. Had numerous opportunities to do so. As Jones hands it off, Moss takes the near side, voids a tackle, and he's past the Erie 10. And forward progress should mark him to the nine of Erie. That's a pickup of two from Moss, and it's third down and one, and that takes us to the one minute warning. One minute warning for the Sharks and the explosion. Erie leads 21 to 14. I tell you, the explosion fans and up on their feet all game. Been quite a game to call. Very defensive minded, unlike the other few games we called so far. You can argue that the extreme Dayton game was close to this, but not this, not this angle. The Erie fans pump up the noise. A couple of them have uh, Vuvuzelas. Remember from a couple World Cups, I believe. 
and the Dixie football crew chant to Erie fans, we can't hear ya. To be fair, the Shark fans outnumber the Erie fans all but one section. It's third down and one. Jones runs it in, past the 10, past the five, spins around and he's knocked down at the six. That will give Dane some fresh set of downs with a clock stop with 53.1 seconds to go in regulation. The ball will be put on the five and the Sharks need to push it in and push it in now. Under 50 seconds to play, Erie leads 21 to 14. Under 45 now, Jones sends a man in motion on the far side. Jones with the ball. He'll run it in. He's past the five, he trips. And he holds on to the ball. He picks up one yard, second down and goal from the four. And we have whistles. Looks like a timeout. Will be taken by the Sharks. That stops the clock at 29.5 seconds. And there's an update by CIFL football Twitter account at CIFL. Talking about the one minute warning here. And it's also winding down. Port Huron in the Patriots lead 33 to 25 over the Drillers. Actually, it's 40 to 19 with 38 seconds left to go in the fourth. Patriots looking for another win. The ball lies. Actually, I take that back. It's past the four. It's on the three of Erie. Second down and goal, and the clock stopped. 29.5 seconds to play. Dayton needs a score in the worst way possible. The coach of the Sharks waves his arms around. Jones looks, throws it up, and it's off the fingertips. Another interception by Smith. Smith has been the thorn in the butt for Tommy Jones, and that should seal the game. Mincy asking why that wasn't defensive pass interference, but it is indeed an interception for Tommy Jones, his fourth on the game. And that gives Erie the ball with 24 seconds. And we have a penalty flag, Coach Taylor coming out. And I tell you, he ain't happy, folks. And an uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on Demetrius Brown. And it looks like Erie is going to go to 9 0 on the season. Sharks fans not too happy. One of the coaches of the explosion pointing at number five, Enrico Middlebrooks. Middlebrooks pointing out the coach saying, hey, where's the unsportsmanlike conduct on that? So the explosion just really need a knee on the ground and now ice things up. Erie came to play. So the fans start to file out of Hare Arena. Ball placed between the 10 and 11 of Erie. First and 10 explosion. And running in will be the quarterback. And Andy, or make it Aaron Swintenka. It looks like we have a timeout call. Erie takes a timeout. Erie takes a timeout, 18.8 seconds left to go in the fourth, 21 to 14 for the explosion. I want to thank everyone for listening to our broadcast today on the Ohio Sports Radio Network. My name is Lee W. Mowen. As he really picked up uh, about three yards on the play. Called second down and seven. And Erie continues to run it in. The clock continues to roll down. 10 seconds now. Some of the fans rolling out the banner. I think some of them tried to pin it on the wall and that's all she wrote for tonight's contest. Your final score tonight, the Erie Explosion 21 and the Dayton Sharks, 14. Fans booing from the Sharks side of things. The explosion, fans and the players excited 
They locked up home field advantage. They want the CIFL Cup. So both teams line up for the for the lines. Everyone giving themselves handshakes all around. And that is the first loss by the Dayton Sharks. Looks like some of the fans or some of the players trying to get at it. One of the assistant coaches trying to pull back an explosion player. Middlebrook's not very happy. He's still yelling, he's very upset. So that is a final score, 21 to 14 Erie Explosion. We'll be back after this to wrap up the game here in the Ohio Sports Radio Network. Back pain, sports related injury, injured at work. Does it sound like you? See your doctor and ask for NovaCare. As the preferred provider of physical therapy to the Dayton Sharks, NovaCare provides exceptional patient care and unmatched customer service. If you're recently injured or need pre or post surgical rehab, call 937-235-0068 to schedule an appointment. We have locations in Centerville and Huber Heights. Let NovaCare get you back to life. The Sharks choose...